The individual who will show us about chloroform and buffalo is Dr. Samuel L. Lieberman, Associate in Anesthesia at the University of Buffalo School of Medicine. Dr. Lieberman. The purpose of this demonstration today is to illustrate how chloroform has been used in western New York for many, many years as an obstetrical anesthetic. It has been used by the Open Drop Administration as illustrated by a Yankauer mask and a chloroform dropper. Today we plan to demonstrate putting a patient to sleep by this technique which is unchanged since many, many years, and also illustrate the transition which is now available to us by the presence of carefully calibrated chloroform vaporizers, such as is illustrated in this model right here. Now I'm first going to put this patient to sleep with open drop chloroform as we routinely have for many years in Western New York to thousands of obstetrical patients every year. Our technique consists of running a liter or two or three liters of chloroform which is coming through this mask, a specially designed vaporizer with oxygen coming out of the sides to the chloroform. Now my dear, I'm going to put you to sleep. I want that hand towel, though. Cover her eyes. What did we do with it? Sorry. Very last minute, we lost it. Isn't that something? There it is, right here. In that bucket there. Alongside on that table right there. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We carefully cover the patient's eyes, just like that, my dear, and then begin the administration slowly of chloroform anesthesia. Now listen, my dear, I'm not going to hurt you, understand? I'm just going to very slowly give you a little something that will make you a little sleepy. It's very important that this agent be given slowly and carefully. Now you won't mind this a bit, my dear, just easy does it. Take your time and don't let it bother you. That's, one. That's all right, dear. Don't you worry about it. You just relax. Let the medicine work. That's fine. Don't you worry about a thing. Very good. Don't you mind it a bit, my dear. Open drop chloroform slowly being administered with two liters of oxygen into the mask. That's fine. I can't breathe. That's all right, honey. Just take your time. We won't hurt you. That's wonderful. That's fine. Take your time. I won't hold it too close to your face. That's fine. Very good. That's all right. Just sit away. That's all right. We'll be careful with you. We won't give you too much. Chloroform properly administered will give you marked uterine relaxation when you want it and also will eliminate it or, or get rid of it. Oh, does it, but Sam, is there, what about bleeding? I mean, this, this is the question. You still have not answered the question about bleeding. To me, the question of bleeding is coincident with uterine tone, present or absent. Well, what you mean to say is that if you have lack of uterine tone, there is bleed, That's bleeding. That's right. So that the answer to the question would be, yes, there is bleeding, but the price that you pay for the bleeding is in uh, uh, better operative conditions? No. No, the answer is that with properly administered chloroform anesthesia, this is not a problem. All right, fine. Now, what effect does this agent have on the baby? Boy, it took us a long time to get to that one. 